Every week we wait for the injuries to take effect and cost Notre Dame. And every week the Irish just keep winning. But here comes their toughest test so far, a road trip to Clemson. And if Notre Dame is gunning for a berth in the college football playoff, so is Clemson. The Tigers are 3-0 coming off a of bye week. And if Deshaun Watson wasn't great in a win over Louisville, the defense has been really good all year. It should be a can't-miss game in Death Valley. Nick Saban says Georgia reminds him of some of those Alabama teams of the recent past. And the resemblance is clear. The Bulldogs have a very good defense, a powerful running game with Nick Chubb, and they've gotten surprisingly good quarterback play from transfer Grayson Lambert. The Tide is still looking for consistent quarterback play, and for the first time in 73 games, Alabama is not favored. A year ago, Oklahoma's formula to beat West Virginia was a steady dose of running back Samaj P. Ryan. And though the Sooners offense has been rejuvenated under new coordinator Lincoln Riley and quarterback Baker Mayfield, the run game has been inconsistent. So has the Oklahoma defense, which was good against Tennessee and struggled against Tulsa. We'll watch for the offenses, but it might be the defense that does it. After its customary run through the non-conference cream puffs, we finally get to see Baylor against legitimate competition. Texas Tech was this close to outscoring TCU last week, and Saturday on a neutral field, AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, the Red Raiders get to try again against one of the Big 12's favorites. Baylor's defense, and I know we never talk about that side of the ball, should put up a lot more fight than TCU's depleted bunch did. And the Bears have plenty of firepower, with Seth Russell now at the controls. We could easily see 100 points combined on Saturday. Don't look now, but Florida is 4-0 under new coach Jim McElwain. And never mind that maybe the Gators shouldn't be. See Tennessee's remarkable implosion last week at the Swamp. The other side of that is the Gators' comeback and quarterback Will Greer making big plays down the stretch. Here comes their most formidable opponent to date, though. A week after beating Alabama, Ole Miss struggled against Vanderbilt, but the Rebels will have to play much better in the Swamp. Of course, if they want to remain unbeaten, the Gators will have to play better too. 